you can apply and you will be given higher education loan from our higher education loans board so that you too can be beneficiaries. As we navigate the changes brought about by the transition to the student centered higher education financing model, I urge universities to exercise patience and understanding with students. The spirit of human consideration is of closure. However, the report of the Presidential Working Party on Education Reforms led by Professor Rafael Munavu last year recommended a student-centered higher education financing model which we adopted. By implementing this model, the government was able to disburse 41 billion shillings in student loans and scholarships to universities within a year. As a result, our universities are now in better financial health and are on track to settle their outstanding debts within three years. Additionally, the government of Kenya is implementing the working party's recommendation to ensure that the student-centered model transforms higher education funding to better serve all stakeholders, leaving no student behind and making university education a universally accessible good. I know for a fact, and I have been briefed here, that this university suffered from the old model's dis, uh, deficiencies, and that today the government of Kenya owes this university upwards of 460 million. I know it has done big damage to this university, and that is why I took the responsibility to sort out the challenges that bedeviled the old model. The old model almost brought many of our universities to closure. I know this university suffered a great deal. I am aware that this university was temporarily closed for a few months. And it was not right because we were responsible for the huge debt of 460 million owed to this university. And it is the reason why it cannot be business as usual. We cannot continue the way we have been doing before. It is not right that we continue a model that has created huge debts and that is why I am deliberate, I am intentional, and I am focused on making sure that we have a model that does not again take our university education to where we have it with 120 billion debt. I am very clear in my mind, and I have worked with all the vice chancellors to make sure that we have a model that makes university education accessible, but puts it on a sound financial footing. It is also important to confirm that all students, including the young men and women studying at Scott Christian University and other private universities, are also eligible for financing under the model and can access loans from the Higher Education Loans Board. I want the students in Scott to know, as I do all other students from private universities, that though we may not continue with government-sponsored students being sent here because we haven't paid for those who came here before, but all students that are here today, you can apply and you will be given higher education loan from our Higher Education Loans Board so that you too can be beneficiaries. As we navigate the changes brought about by the transition to the student-centered higher education financing model, I urge universities to exercise patience and understanding with students. The spirit of human consideration 
is especially critical given the additional challenge posed by litigation, which could disrupt the implementation of the model. Therefore, I appeal to universities to allow students to sit for their end of semester examination while awaiting the resumption of full disbursements once the uh, process gives direction on the matter. The presence of such a dynamic group of people and their remarkable achievements attest to the power and effectiveness of collective action and shared responsibility. Let us carry forward this spirit of ambitious and collaborative effort to build a Kenya where education remains a powerful tool of inclusive empowerment and a national transformation program. In this endeavor, let us take special care to ensure that no child, regardless of their background, is denied the opportunity to learn, the opportunity to grow, and the opportunity to succeed. I encourage the graduates to practice the values acquired here in their personal and professional lives. Remember, knowledge will always open doors, but it is faith that will empower you to overcome social, economic, political, cultural, and technical challenges, while service to others paves the way for leadership and greatness. As Matthew 23, 11 reminds us, the greatest among you will be your servant. Therefore, I urge you to be leaders who transform society, champions of integrity,